Welcome back to Jay Smokehouse and the History of Cannabis series, Extended, Episode 3. Cannabis in the Bronze Age, Part 2. Now, last episode, we left off with the Scythians bringing cannabis to India. And also that cannabis got its first name, Bang. But it also has another name, Ganja. And that comes from India also. Now, most of what we know from cannabis in India comes from the Vedas, or the sacred Hindu texts. Now, there are four Vedas, and those are the Rig Veda, the Yajur Veda, the Sama Veda, and also the Atharda Veda. Now, this Vedas is quite different from the other Vedas, as it doesn't really focus on religious ceremonies. It's really focusing on everyday life in ancient India, and what they would have used to alleviate ailments in ancient India. It is known as being a collection of 20 books of hymns, chants, spells, and prayers. And the Atharva Veda is also supposed to be the origin of Tantra and Yoga. That was pretty cool to find out. And not only is the Atharva Veda the oldest known reference to Bang in ancient India, it's also supposed to be the second oldest text in ancient India. And here are two quotes from the Atharva Veda. First quote, We speak to the five kingdoms of the plants with Soma as the most excellent among them, the Darba grass, hemp, and mighty barley. They shall deliver us from calamity. And the second quote is, May the Bang and may the Ganjita protect us against diseases and all the demons. The one is brought hither from the forest, the other from the sap of the furrow. Now, this is very interesting, and I'm not sure if it's true or not. I just found it really interesting. Apparently, Gautama Buddha, the legendary Buddha, legendarily survived for six years on only a single hemp seed a day. Now, that does seem a little far-fetched, but pretty cool to think about. Now, there's also another thing with ancient India. It's one of the first times that we see cannabis used as marijuana or to get high. They suggest the psychoactive properties in cannabis in the Vedas. And that is what leads us to believe that it's one of the first times that cannabis is actually used to get quote unquote high. And then we come to Lord Shiva, one of the deities in Hinduism. And Shiva is also known as the Lord of Bang. And not only is Bang referred to as cannabis, it's also referred to as a certain cannabis infused milk drink that they would offer to Lord Shiva. They would mix the holy grass or cannabis with milk. And then this would be the Bang drink that they would offer to Lord Shiva. There's also a legendary story about Lord Shiva that when Lord Shiva was in a battle or an argument with their family, they left exhausted and fell asleep underneath this plant. When they awoke, they loved the aromatic smell of this plant and decided to try the leaves of this plant or the flowers of this plant and loved it. And that is where Shiva is associated with Bang. And so that is why Shiva is called the Lord of Bang. And apparently Lord Shiva named cannabis as their favorite of the five sacred plants in Hinduism. Now, the other five sacred plants would be Talasi, Sandalwood, Jasmine, and Neem. That's going to be all for ancient India today. We'll pick back up with India in the Iron Age. Now moving to ancient Israel. Now, up until recently, it wasn't believed that cannabis was ever really mentioned in the Bible or in ancient Israel. However, it's believed that in the 1980s, the translators of the Bible to the King James Version incorrectly translated cannabisem to calamus. They actually believe that cannabisem is cannabis now, not calamus. And so if this is true, it's mentioned throughout the Bible, especially for the holy anointing oil. Now, the holy anointing oil was not just a religious oil. It was also a healing oil. And so knowing this, that cannabis might have been in the holy anointing oil, it definitely makes sense. Here is a quote from the Bible, the book of Exodus, chapter 30, verses 23. Take the finest spices of liquid myrrh, 500 shekels, and of sweet-smelling cinnamon, half as much, 
that is 250. And of aromatic cane, 250. That'd be shekels. Now, the aromatic cane was cannabosem. Now, the direct translation of cannabosem is an aromatic resinous reed plant. And if you look in the link on my description, it shows that cannabosem is believed to be cannabis, and it gives resources and reasons why they believe this. And it's actually an accepted belief that calamus was the wrong interpretation. And that is very important. That means for a very long time, Christians were incorrectly believing that cannabis was not in the Bible. Now, 250 shekels would have been over six pounds of cannabis for this holy anointing oil. Now, whether or not it was actually psychoactive marijuana and not just hemp, we're not sure about that. However, there is more evidence that we will get to in the Iron Age where they have evidence of cannabis being burned and it had enough traces of THC to get you high. However, like I said, we'll go into that in the Iron Age. Now that's going to do it for the Bronze Age, but next episode we're going to be moving into the Iron Age, and I'll be picking up with the Middle East on next episode, where we have invaders of the Hittite kingdom having evidence of using hemp, and this was around 1100 BC. But again, we'll be going into this next episode, so I really hope that you'll join us. Now, if you enjoyed this video or you learned anything, please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can stay up to date with the new episodes in the History of Cannabis Extended series. And now, as always, Jay is going to go smoke a Jay.